Hello again, this is PK with So Fitness Hawaii. You're joining me today to do our active older adults, okay? This is not just a seniors class, this is an active older adults, and I wanna show you a variety of workout exercises that can help you stimulate old muscles so they get active again, but the other thing is for you to feel fresh and alive, okay? We're gonna be using our two pound dumbbells, our hand weights. We're gonna be using a yoga mat. We're gonna be using our yoga blocks and our children's exercise balls, okay? They're just simple kids balls that you can get at any drugstore, Walmart, Target, Longs, anywhere you can get kids balls, that's what you're gonna use. All right, we're gonna start this segment with a 10 minute or so warm up, get the body primed, and then we're gonna jump into the actual exercise. And towards the end, we're gonna do a stretching segment, okay? So here's the thing, this is a standing to chair to floor and in different planes up and down, okay? If you are having a hard time sitting or standing or going to floor, this is not the workout for you, okay? Anyways, this is PK. Once again, you're joining me. Have a good time. It's just under 60 minutes. If you have to pause this workout for any given time, you've got to go take care of business. By all means, pause and then come back to it, okay? I will have my information in the descriptions below. Please follow, click that subscribe button so you get the latest information. Give me the thumbs up. And then also tell me some of the things that you'd like to know more about. One thing that I'm going to drop a workout, a talk story about is the scale. Yes, yes, the dreaded scale. But what I want to say is this little bugger right here isn't something to be feared. It's actually something that you can use as a baseline way to track how far you've come, okay? It's an instrument, it's a tool. It's not something to get scared about. And I'm gonna talk about that really briefly towards the end, so follow to the end. Let's get this started, here we go. All right, I'm going barefooted today. I'm standing on my mat, I'm in my little studio, so bear with me, let's get started. Here we go, we're gonna take it up. One, three, five, six, nine and ten okay some exercises we're not going to count you're just going to follow along until i say stop you ready here we go one two three we're going to do the robot five six seven eight nine and ten perfect all right i'm going to turn sideways we're going to take the leg back arms up one two three reach four five six seven eight nine and ten perfect let's take it right back to the start one two three four five six seven eight nine ten robot one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right, stepping back, reaching to the heavens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. Your heart rate is going to come up. That is totally natural. All right, we're going to go with the elbow. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten all right taking the feet to the side one two three four five six bend those knees seven eight nine ten elbow one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten one two three four go lower five bend those knees six seven eight nine and ten perfect we're going to take the heels forward with a bicep curl one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten great job great job you want to always keep your posture legs ankles and hips okay shoulders hips 
and feet are all in alignment. We do not want to come back here. We want to stay there. That's how we maintain the balance, okay? We're going to bring the hip to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Knees to the front. You ready? With a chest fly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. We're doing two sets of each exercise for at least 10 to 12 reps. Hands on hips, knee to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, chest fly with the knee to the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Remember, if you need to take a break, get some water, do so. Don't wait for me. All right, we're going to roll those shoulders, okay? Notice my posture, belly button in, chest is tall, and my neck is neutral. All right, we're going to take it forward. Okay, loosen up the shoulders, okay, lift, relax the neck, perfect. All right, we're going to stay wider than hip, we're going to extend our arms right there, you ready? One, two, three, four, we're bending forward, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Okay. We're going to stay with the hips wide, legs are wide, hands are on hips right here. We're going to stick the booty out and we're going to do a sumo squat. One, two, three. We're just warming it up. Four, five. You see these? Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, We're warming all the inner thighs, all the lower legs. All right, here we go. We're going to lunge to the side again. One, two, three three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay? I want you to feel that. Okay? We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. Let's bring the feet in. Okay? I'm still wider than hip because that's my balance, that's my base, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm going to reach. One, two, open my palms, pull. Three, four, five, twisting my body. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Perfect, okay? We're gonna take the arms up and reach. One, and pull. Two, three, lift the heel. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten reach again one two lift the heel three four twist five pull it back six seven eight nine and ten okay by lifting the heel we are working the back of the leg the calves okay so we need to keep flexibility in the ankles so that we can squat when you have lack of flexibility in those ankles that is when you have problems and you fall let's take it back up to the top one, reach and pull, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, at this point, we're gonna get some stretch in, not a big deal. What we wanna do with this stretch is warm up the body so we can get into the actual workout, okay? So we're gonna connect the fingers, gently pull. It's kinda like the same stretches we do towards the end, okay? We're gonna take the arms up, lift, stretch out under the arms, stretch out the back, stretch out the midsection, the corset area, pull, okay? Perfect, we're gonna reach back, grab those hands, hold, drop the chin. If you have tightness in the back of the shoulders, in the neck, you're gonna feel this, okay? But that's a good thing, okay? Gently, we're just warming up. Okay, once again, we're just warming up, okay? So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna hold the wall. Make sure you hold your wall. You can hold the chair as well. And I'm gonna bring up the leg down. Bring up the leg down. Bring up the leg down. 
Okay, right there, bring up the leg down. One more, bring up the leg down. Last time, bring up the leg down. Okay, we're getting the legs ready for what we're gonna do with the squat. Same thing, hands and hips, bring up the leg down. Down, keep on going. Nice, belly in. Four more, one, two, three, one more, and four, perfect. We're gonna go to the other side again, okay? Palms on the wall or the chair. I'm going to grab my ankle and I'm gonna hold, okay? You're gonna feel that stretch right here in the quads, front of the top thigh, okay? And down, okay? Other side, holding that wall or the chair, pick it up, okay? Feel that stretch. And down, perfect. We're gonna make big circles, opening up the chest, okay? Opening up the chest and the shoulders, and let's reverse, okay? Palms are open, stretching out the palms. Good, right there. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start standing up, okay? We're gonna start standing up, and we're gonna start with our yoga block, okay? We're gonna start with a yoga block. You don't have a yoga block, you can definitely use a dumbbell, okay? We're gonna go with the yoga block so you can see the variety. We're gonna hold the yoga block there, okay? Right there, okay? Right here, we're gonna work the shoulders, front of the shoulders. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, and four. The reason we're using the yoga block, look at the center. The yoga block is in line with my chest and is almost the width of my shoulders. So it'll keep your, your arms in alignment, which is what I'm trying to do, okay? Right here, we're gonna turn it up and we're gonna press. One, two, working the shoulders. Three, four, fingers to the ceiling. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Okay, you see that alignment? If you bring the arms closer to the head, right up, you're gonna see the perfect alignment with the yoga block, okay? Once again, here we go. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. Notice my heel. One, two, three, four. I'm pivoting. One, two, three, four. Perfect, okay? You make sure you're pivoting and you're turning that body, okay? Once again, yoga block is facing up, fingers to the ceiling. Keep them there, don't close. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Stand tall. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more, and 10. Perfect, okay? We're gonna grab the other yoga block. I'm using two today, okay? This is gonna help you to be able to add some reach for the back for those of you who can't go to the floor, okay? Here we go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place the yoga block there in alignment, okay? We're gonna fold, okay, right there. Hips are width, we're gonna fold and hold, okay? It's almost like in a tabletop. You're gonna feel that stretch, okay, towards the back of the legs right there. Nice, okay, nice. Keep it there. We're gonna come up, okay? We're gonna drop one block. We're gonna go back with the single block, okay? Here we go, we're gonna swoop. One, two, three, four. Swoop, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, holding the block right there. It's in line with our shoulders. Taking it back for the tricep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 
and down, okay? If you're using, using a wooden block, that's gonna be a little heavier. This is the foam block, so it's super light, but that's gonna have us build up towards the weights, okay? You ready? This time, we're gonna go in a circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Raising up overhead, right there, standing tall, extend the arms, let's work the tricep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and down, okay? So there's a lot of use for this little tool. It's not only for yoga, you can use it for other things, okay? So if you don't have dumbbells and you got yoga blocks because you've been doing it for a while, use it, okay? Take advantage of that, okay? All right, we're putting that to the side and we're gonna pick up our dumbbells, okay? We're gonna pick up our dumbbells. If you cannot use the dumbbells because they're too heavy, just use body weight, make some fists. If your body, if your dumbbells Start getting hit me, just drop them, okay? Here we go. We're gonna stand here, soften the knees, crossing the body and pushing back. One, working chest and shoulders. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. And down, okay? So my palms are facing back. We're gonna press the shoulders back like you're gonna, I want you to think of if you had an orange and you've gotta press between your shoulder blades and you press, press, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Gonna feel that across your chest, your shoulders and your arms and hold. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so these are twos, they fit in my hands. Okay, they're not the bulky type, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go opposite leg, opposite arm, hammer curl and knee up. One, two, three, four, five, keep on going, six, seven, eight, trust yourselves, nine, one more, if you can, hold, okay? And down, okay? Let's go to the other side, opposite hand, opposite leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, hold. And down, perfect. All right, we're gonna go back with the scissors to the front and pressing back, remember? Think of an orange, you're squeezing an orange. Here we go. One, push back. Two, three, chest is up. Four, bring those shoulder blades together. Five, six, pull the belly button back. Seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. We're gonna press back. Remember, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Get the visual orange, squeeze. Squeeze, 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 hold. Pull the belly button in. I want you to squeeze the tush as well as squeeze the upper body. And down. All right, this time we're gonna do a double bicep curl, okay? Double, double hammer curl with a knee up. You ready? One, two, three. Remember, keep the balance. Four, five, six. Bring that knee up, seven. Eight, nine, one more, hold. Perfect, let's switch legs. Remember stepping out, giving yourself some width. And down, perfect job you guys, perfect job. All right, we're gonna go wide, okay? Sumo stance, slightly, toes slightly out, belly button in, okay? Right here, we're gonna hold it right there in a squat position. We're gonna do an upright row for the traps behind the neck. You ready? Singles. One, two, three, four. Elbows are to the ceiling. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're gonna take the weights, 
rest it right there, and we're going to squat. One, two, three, four, five. Tuck it in. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay? You can come up. You can adjust if you need to. This time we're going to go with the doubles upright row. Okay? Elbows to the ceiling. Here we go. One, two, three. Sit in that position. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Perfect. Going back to the crease, we got one more set. You ready? Let's pulse. One, two, feel that. Woo! Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And up. Adjust the legs, bring them in. Right back to the nice start position. We still have our weights, okay? We still have our weights. So we're gonna keep the weights to the side and we're gonna do a front leg raise. If you can't do this, you can take this to the chair, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not a kick, seven. It's just a straight leg, eight, nine, and 10. We are working the hip. Okay, we are working the hip. That's not very easy. If you can't do that, low is fine, okay? You do not have to make it in line with the hip. You can take it low, okay? Here we go, you ready? We're gonna go with the squat. Palms are to the side, booty needs to go out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10, and up, okay? So our workouts are great for anyone, any man or woman who are over 30 and older, they wanna stay active, okay? We are not trying to get more of a fast movement. We wanna make sure our form is good, our breathing is good, our stance are perfect, Okay, our wrists are fine and our joints are in alignment, okay? So here we go. We're gonna go with a front raise for the shoulder. One, two, three, and four. To the side, one, two, three, and four. Other side, one, two, three, and four. Four. We're gonna go right back with the squat, okay? We're hitting the lower body as well as the upper body. Here we go. One, two, when you come up, squeeze. Three, there you go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Perfect, you ready? We're gonna go with the front raise. One, two, three and four to the side one two three and four back to the front one two stand tall three and four again to the side one two three and four okay so if you notice our patterning we're working lower body to upper body, upper body to lower body, so we can have a full body conditioning, okay? We are not isolating muscles here. We're working the entire body, which is important if you only work out once or twice a week, okay? All right, here we go. We're gonna work the chest, okay? I'm standing tall, softening my knees some, right there. Palms are facing each other, elbows are bent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10, and down, okay? Perfect, okay? So we're gonna go back with the lower body now. We're gonna go into a lunge position, okay? Leg is forward, back leg has to bend, knee has to bend, heel must come up, keep it soft. Palms are to the side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 
stepping up, other leg goes back, okay? Right there, heel is up, back leg is bent, as well as the front leg, looking up, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and up. Great job, you guys, okay? Great job. Remember, the breath is in through the nose, out through the mouth, okay? All right, we're gonna go back with the chest. This time is a peck, okay? Not here, keep the weights just in line with the ears or lower chest is up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10, and down. All right, we got one more set of the lunge. Here it is, we're halfway through, so if you need to take a break, you need to get water, now is the time. Keep on going, here we go. Chest is up, back leg is bent, heel is up, okay? One, two, three, keep your balance, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, coming up, let's go back, okay? Chest is up, heel is up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten and up great job you guys we got one more okay chest fly right here elbows are to the side one two open the chest close the chest three four keep on going breathe one more and ten and down Great job, you guys, great job, okay? We're gonna put the weights to the side. We're gonna use one of the small balls, okay? So if you don't have a big ball at home, not a problem. Just make sure this ball, okay, is definitely got air in it, it's not soft. We're gonna use the wall, okay? So find some place in your studio, in your room, whatever you're doing in a, where you have a wall. We're gonna place this small in the back. You're not gonna see the ball, okay? It's right behind me. I'm leaning against the wall, okay? I'm gonna move my mat out of the way for now. Okay? So I don't slip, okay? Right there. My feet is hip width, and I am at least two feet, a foot and a half to two feet away from the wall. I am in an angle. I will show you again. I want you to go here. It's at the small of your back, and I want you to squat. One. Palms are on the knees, two, three, four, pull that belly in, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10, and I want you to hold, press into that ball, make sure that ball is steady, and up, okay? So you get an extra bonus with this. You actually massage your lower back, which feels really great, Okay, at the end of the day, but if you don't have a big ball, the small ball fits perfectly in the small of the back, okay? All right, we're gonna take that ball around. Let's get some heart rate up, okay? Right there, I'm moving, I'm not standing still. I don't want you to be static, okay? I want you to move your feet so we can keep that heart rate up, good. Reverse, okay? Reverse, move the feet side to side, keep on moving, okay? We got one more set of the ball. All right, I'm gonna do it on this wall so you can see, okay? Right here, ball is going to go against the wall, okay? My feet are out in front of me. You see the angle of my feet? This does not work. You have to be here. Support that ball. Hands are on my knees. One, two. When you do this correctly, you end up in the perfect sitting position. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, we're gonna hold. You're gonna feel that in your legs. That is some really strong leg workout, and up, okay? Gently bring the legs back, standing up. We're gonna go side to side, okay? Perfect. If you don't have the small ball, you can do that with the big ball, okay? You can do that with the big ball too. Just be mindful that you're gonna be further away from the wall, okay? All right, keep on going. We're gonna reverse again. Okay. 
and we're gonna stomp, okay? All right, we're gonna go to the chair. Line up the chair right there, okay? We're gonna take the ball, place it between the thighs, okay? Not at the knees, I want it a little deeper so we can activate those core, not only the legs, but the core muscles, okay? Right there, we're gonna stand up, palms are out to the side, we're gonna squeeze and bicep curl at the same time. One, two, three, four, sit tall, five, six, seven, eight, we're going for 12, nine, 10, 11, and we're gonna hold here and I want you to squeeze, okay? I want you to feel all that internal organ muscles Squeezy, tighten them up, and down, okay? Good, okay? Engaging the core is just another term to tighten up. So instead of just doing this, okay, I want you to squeeze everything. Pull the belly in, tighten up the private area, tighten up the muscles, and squeeze, as well as the tush. You ready? We're gonna do that again, okay? We're working the biceps and the inner thigh and core. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One more, and hold. Squeeze, and relax. Perfect, okay? Perfect. All right, we're gonna keep the ball there, okay? We're gonna keep the ball there. We're gonna extend the leg. I want you to extend the leg completely, okay? In line with the hip and knee, not just down here. Try to take it as high as you can. Push the heel forward, toes are straight to the ceiling. You can hold here, keep the ball there. Here we go. You can even lean back if you have to. One, two, three, four. Bring them up, five, six. We're going for 27. Keep on going. Fifteen, sixteen, press. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and I want you to hold. We're gonna rotate that joint. One, two, three, and four. Reverse that. One, two, three, and four. Let's go with the other side. Extend that leg, okay? Let's make a beautiful circle. One, two, three and four, reverse, one, two, three and four, and down, perfect, okay, very nice, very nice, okay, that's really important to keep that joint, although the ankle bends in a hinge way, by rotating it gently, you hit every angle of the ankle, um, if you cannot move your ankles, that is where you have a hard time squatting or coming out of the chair, because it starts here, okay? The foundation starts here, then it's the next big joint, which is the knee, and then the hip. Everything moves in order with each other. If it doesn't start here, you can't bend here, and you can't bend here. You will feel pain. All right, we're gonna do that again. Let's go back, hold the chair, let's extend. One, keep that ball there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, push that heel forward, eight, keep on going, squeeze, last one, let's hold, okay, pull the toes to the shin, all right, we're going to go point and shin, point and shin, point and shin, point and shin. Bring the other leg up, point, shin, point, shin, point, shin. One more, point and shin. All right, perfect. We're gonna take the ball, put the ball to the side, okay? We're gonna bring the knee up, okay? That being the case, we're gonna get some stretch in the chair before we go to the floor. Bring that knee up, okay? Right there, okay? I'm gonna extend my leg a little forward, lean back in the chair, bring that knee up. This is great for some of you who cannot necessarily go to the floor or you're in your office and you wanna get some stretch. 
I suggest strongly doing this, okay? All right, we're gonna sit back up. We're gonna bend that knee, okay? All right, you see the number four right there? We're gonna fold right at this hinge and fold forward. You're gonna feel that in your hip, both sides, sometimes more than others, and hold, okay? I'm gonna go through my leg, onto my shin, and hold. The more you press forward, the deeper you're going to feel that stretch. All right, coming up, let's go to the other side. Bring that leg forward, adjust in the chair, bring that knee up, okay? Bring that knee to your chest. Remember, the breath is in through your nose, out through your mouth, a little longer on the exhale. Okay? Adjust that extended leg. We're going to bend, okay? once again. Fold forward, feel that stretch right there, really deep. Okay. We're gonna go through, grab the shin and hold. Perfect, okay? We're gonna take it to the floor, let's put the chair on the side. All right, okay. We're gonna start face down, okay? All right, we're gonna go face down, right there, okay? Give yourself room, adjust your hips, okay? So your body feels good, it loves its sweet spot. Bending the hand, resting the head, reaching back, pulling that heel to the butt. If you can't, you can also get your yoga strap, Okay, or a towel, wrap it around and gently use that as leverage. You can even use your exercise bands to hold, okay? You're gonna feel that stretch in the front part of the thigh, okay? Release that leg, okay? Going to the other side, reaching back, Head is down, hold. Perfect, okay? We're gonna place the palms in front of us, opening up the palms, okay? Elbows are under shoulders, okay? Chin is looking forward right there. You're gonna feel that back bend, okay? You're gonna feel that slight back bend. I'm not looking to the ceiling. I'm not overextending. I'm pressing my pelvic through the floor, but I'm gentle, okay? I'm very gentle, okay? Perfect. I'm gonna bring my palms back under my shoulders. Elbows are tucked, shoulders are in. I'm looking forward. I'm gonna feel that still in the center of my back. It's still a back bend, okay? I'm holding nice and easy and gently, okay? You can even keep the elbows down if you need to and lift, okay, right there. It depends on where you're at. You can hold and look forward, okay? Beautiful, okay, we're gonna relax that. We're gonna bring the knee to the side in line with the hip, okay? And I'm holding, okay? I'm gonna reach forward, rest my head flat and hold. I'm gonna feel the stretch in my inner thigh, in my lower back, in my knee, or wherever you are tight is where you're gonna feel it. If you can, I'm gonna extend the leg to the side. If you can't, not a problem. And back, okay, bring that leg back. We're gonna take it to the other side, same thing. Okay. Extend that leg to the side. Okay. Bring that leg back, perfect. We're gonna take our palms, rest it under the shoulder right there, legs are down. 
We're going to gently push up right there. Pull the chest up. You're going to feel the bend in the back, okay? Pressure in the hips, possibly in the knees, okay? Right there. Nice. We're going to pull the hips back. We're going to go into child's pose. Hold. Feel the stretch from the fingers. I want you to feel the stretch moving up through the fingers, through the wrists, through the forearms, through the elbows, through the biceps and triceps, shoulders, through the center of the back, all the way around the glutes, down into the hamstrings, around the knees and to the toes. Okay. We're going to bring the arms. We're going to place the arms to the side and just let our body curl into that beautiful child's pose. One of the best relaxing poses ever. Okay. We're going to bring the arms forward. We're going to come up on fours. Right here, we're going to take the arms, walk it to the side, press in okay it's a side bend we're doing a side bend for this arm okay. we're going to walk the hands to the other side same thing press you're going to feel a slight pull from the fingertip all the way down into the hip Walking the hands back to center. Now we're on fours. You can always put something under the knees if it's bothering you. Okay, remember, you are doing this for you. So we're going to go with cat and cow. Okay, breath is up, in, pull the t chest in, tucking the tail, tucking the chin. Going into cow, nice press and push. Hips back, elbows and shoulders are nice and snug. Okay, relax the neck if you need to look down. Let's go back into cat. Nice arching of the back, tucking the tail and the chin, feeling the opening of each vertebrae in the spine. Beautiful. Let's go back into cow. Nice tucking of the tail outwards. Back is definitely nice, feeling the back bend in the center. Shoulders are snug. Okay. Belly button is back. Last time into cow. Cat pulling, arching, arching, arching. Nice, beautiful right there. Let's relax one more time into cow, pressing back and hold. We're gonna go into bird dog, extend the leg. Okay. Extend the leg, extend the arm, hold. Perfect, let's relax. Going with the other extension of the leg. Other arm is extended. And down, perfect. We're gonna gently push back into puppy, okay? Extend the legs best that you can, okay? Going into downward dog. Gently walking the hands to the feet, rolling up, okay? Remember, if you can't do all of these exercises, not a problem, just do what you can, okay? We're gonna bring back the chair. Okay. Make sure your chair is secure, that you're not gonna fall, okay? I'm gonna place one foot on my chair, one foot back, and I'm gonna press into it, okay? If you need more security, put this next to the wall, okay? You're going to feel that stretch right down the front of the leg as well as in the other leg, okay? And the back and the heel, okay? Beautiful, okay? You're going to step back, bring the other leg up, adjust, press that heel to the floor, moving the body in towards the chair. You're going to feel that stretch in the hamstrings as well as down through the calf into the ankle, okay? Hold. Okay. We're going to step up. Perfect. We're going to step back, placing the palms flat, keeping it into a flat back right there. Okay. Feel that stretch. We're going to come up with the calves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
and 10. And down. Right here, we're going to push back. Feel that stretch in the shoulders, okay? In through the back, all the way down the legs, back of the legs, into the calves, and to the heels and the ankles. Perfect. Walking ourselves up, chairs to the side. Nice job, everybody. Nice job. Let's bring up the arms. Right there. One more time. Okay. Reverse. Beautiful. Okay. Two fingers on the side of the neck. Gently take that neck over. And let's go to the other side. Two fingers, jawbone to the shoulder and down. Last time, two fingers to the jaw, shoulder and down. Okay. Working the back and the neck, so we're going to go chin to chest and back. Perfect, everybody. So like I promised, I want to talk to you about this, this little bugger, okay? The scale. Here's the thing. In the majority of the time that I've been training, um, all ages, athletes, men, women, doesn't matter what the demographics is, everybody's freaked out about the scale. Here's the thing. This baby, you can use to help you. It's not about the numbers here that you get scared about, okay? It's about feeling like you're out of control and you don't know how to stop eating or you don't know how to have discipline. That, just throw it out the door. Use this scale at least once a week, okay? Have a time, pick a day, like on a Monday, okay? You're alone, you're in your bathroom, take all your clothes off, okay? Every time at the same time, take your clothes off after you've used the bathroom and emptied yourself from the night before and go on the scale, okay? And track that number as a means to keep you aware of your baseline on what is your normal weight, okay? If you fluctuate two pounds here, three pounds here, that's okay, okay? Sometimes it's because of the food you ate the night before, it's still in your system. You need to empty it out. The other thing is this. A good weight makes a difference in how you feel. It makes a difference in if you have inflammation. It makes a difference if you feel tired or you're in pain, okay? I want you to learn how to use this scale so you can make sure that you have a high end. For an example, if I'm 100 pounds, not 100, if I'm 145 pounds, okay, that's my low end, and I am between 145 and 50, okay? I'm gonna fluctuate, okay? I know for me, being at 145, I feel good in my body, okay? If I start hitting 50, my joints start to hurt, okay? I start feeling achy, I, feel, I start feeling tired, I start feeling moody, okay? I know that my inflammation is up, I know that that's not good for me, I know my hormones might be acting a little wonky, so you need to understand, this is a tool. It's not something to gauge your life with, and it's not something to fear, okay? If you use it positively and you use it correctly, you can, you can surely make sure that you, okay, are living your best life by not actually adding illness, disease, and pain to your body. This baby, you can use for that. Anyways, if you wanna know more about nutrition, how to use that, how to not diet, but live in a lifestyle, okay, with proper nutrition and exercise and good mindset, contact me, pksoulfitnesshi.com. That was your workout for today. Let's do the hop and let's close. You ready? Here we go, take it up. One more. Bring that energy up, bring it to the chest, three times everybody and talk to you soon. Ahoyo. Don't forget, subscribe, put some information there, share your, share your info with me and other people and let them know that you know what, whether you're doing online, whether you're watching videos, whether you're going to the gym, 
it's something that you need to do for a lifetime. You can't just do this and think it's going to be over in a couple of months, okay? You've put in the work. You need to keep with it. That's how you're going to feel better. Talk to you soon. Ahuiho.